My name is Hanya Azam. I'm an assistant professor of mathematics at the Sayed Babar Lee School of Science and Engineering at the Lahore University of Management Sciences, for short, LUMS. It's in Lahore, Pakistan. So for my PhD thesis, I worked on cohomology of configuration spaces of Riemann surfaces. Um, I have been of late um, working on the Fukaya category of surfaces from a topological viewpoint. Uh, lately, I've also been engaged in uh, the homological mirror symmetry for um, uh, varieties of infinite type. Um, and also, I'm interested in topological data analysis. Um, Pakistan seems to have a, a stronger tradition in physics uh, and this could be attributed to uh, Professor Salam for winning the Nobel Prize in physics. Um, unfortunately uh, for math it isn't the case. Um, math seems to be neglected at all levels, from the school level to college to university. So as a professor in a university, um, you know, I, I suffer uh, because of uh, a varied background of students that we receive. Um, so there needs to be, you know, a lot more needs to be invested when it comes to math specifically. So um, in 2021, our university, our department started uh, math circles at the university. And uh, these are targeted towards high school students and school students, school children. Uh, to spark some curiosity and interest in mathematics. Um, but of course, this is just a very, very small uh, effort. Uh, but uh, we're hoping that this could one day multiply into uh, you know, a bigger endeavor at a national level and um, eventually could uh, culminate into something more impactful for vis-a-vis uh, you know, -vis math teaching and learning. Uh, in Pakistan. Um, as far as the research goes, uh, there are a few areas of mathematics which are more, uh, more popular uh, for doing research. Um, there, is, there are some areas in pure mathematics which are also popular, uh, but most areas of pure mathematics are quite neglected, neglected with the research in Pakistan. And um, it's, it's, you know, international collaborations that, you know, we researchers really rely on in Pakistan. Um, so we have someone to talk to, bounce our ideas off uh, someone. Um, yeah, of course, there's a long way to go there. So um, I've had to rely on uh, these collaborations with uh, researchers outside of Pakistan uh, for all areas that I was interested in um, and I've been doing, I've been remotely collaborating with them um, even before Covid struck um, and I, this opportunity of doing research in pairs, um, it's, it's a great opportunity in the sense that it brings you out of your home institution where you're busy course teaching which is valuable and research which could be your passion uh, but then there's a whole lot of committee work that you're devoting time to so it kind of brings you out of your home university and lets you focus on uh, on research and and just be very very um, yeah, focused about it um, I feel that this research in pairs uh, grant is is quite a generous grant um, if you manage well in advance and you plan ahead, um, it's, it's actually more than enough uh, for you to survive the time that you are going to spend here. So this project uh, that I'm working on with Christian Blanchet, we were discussing this uh, exactly when Covid struck and then uh, there was this hiatus of uh, about um, three years, uh, we were unable to, uh, you know, resume uh, our discussion on this. 
and this um, fellowship is just really it comes as a very very timely opportunity for me uh, to really for us to get back on track to start discussing it again and to bring it to a meaningful closure. So my my stay here is um, it's divided between two labs. So I'll be visiting two labs, which means I'll be visiting or meeting two different sets of people, which is always good. Uh, who knows, maybe it turns into a future collaboration or a new project. Mm -hmm.